Here we have B&K Precision's 5490C series benchtop multimeters. This series includes a 5.5 and 6.5 digit models with many great features. I'll cover a few of my favorites. Of course, they have the measurement capabilities you'd expect in a modern multimeter, including voltage, current, capacitance, frequency, and resistance with both two and four wire modes for increased accuracy. On the front, we have a 4.3 inch LCD with soft keys for quick menu navigation. The display can be switched between numeric, bar meter, trend chart, and histogram. And with the dual display capabilities, you can view two measurements at a time. The math function can be viewed with statistical data. And I'm impressed with how quickly the meter returns measurement results, even in auto range mode. Whether I'm working with DC voltage in millivolt or 100 volt range, measurement results are returned almost instantly, and range hunting is minimal compared to other benchtop meters. But my favorite feature is probe hold mode. It makes it easy to take a sequence of measurements and compare them. Simply probe the first measurement, and it'll settle quickly. That measurement is added to a list. Each subsequent measurement is automatically added to the list in order. You can transfer this list of measurements to a computer for further analysis. If you're making a sequence of measurements, you're really going to like this feature. And that brings me to interface capabilities. On the front of these, we have a USB host port for transferring screen captures and data logs to a computer. All of these units are USB TMC compliant. They have RS-232 and LAN standard. We also have a GPIB option. The 5492C 5.5 digit and 5493C 6.5 digit both have the same functions and measurement capabilities. The difference is the 5493C has the extra digit of resolution and the addition of rear input terminals. This is only a quick look at a few of the features this series has to offer. For more information, check out the data sheet on our website at bkprecision.com or click the link below and leave a comment if you have any questions or would like to learn more about these multimeters.